Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add filter logic in Salesforce. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Salesforce, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding a filter logic in Salesforce reports is a straightforward process that provides several key advantages, helping to fine tune the data and making reports more useful. Once you're logged into your account, I want you to hover to the app launcher. All right, there's going to be a great icon on the top left. And if you haven't seen the report, go to that and search for reports. But if you can see the reports right here, click on it. And if you want to create a new report from scratch, you might want to click on the new report and select the appropriate report type based on the object you want to report on. All right. Now, in my case, I'm going to be um, going to accounts and contacts or opportunities. Maybe I'm opportunities for now. I'm going to click on it and you see this option. Click on start report. Now, in the report builder, all right, for you to be able to add a filter logic, you might want to hover to the left pane on your dashboard, go to filters, and from here, add a filter. All right. For example, that's going to be um, lead source. You see that? Okay, I'm going to click on apply. Now, after doing so, click the add filter logic. All right. And for of the value is dependent on your goals. For example, this one, like 69. Click on apply. All right. So one is okay. Now, filter logic, all right, allows you to narrow down large data sets by applying multiple conditions with and or operators for example if you want to see all the records that meets the two or more spe specific criteria such as opportunities that are both closed one and created in the last quarter if that makes sense the idea is instead of manually sifting through irrelevant data filter logic automatically includes non-relevant information and of course this makes the report building process more efficient and allows users to spend more time analyzing data rather than preparing for it all right thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video